Okay, so I think in this one we're going to discuss automation. There have been a couple questions about it, so here we're going to just jump into it. Now what I'm talking about here is right here on your production panel you have this option for automation. I don't know why it's already turned on, but... And uh, this option is available to any business that produces things. Uh, for instance, my workshop here, you can turn automation on. You cannot turn it on for the trading post because well, there's nothing to automate. It doesn't produce anything. It just sells things. So any producing business, you can use this automation option. And when you click it, nothing will show up until you turn it on. Uh, and then you have a uh, you have a, a number of options here. So one of the where it says here source ingredients from markets, there's a drop down menu, and you can select shed, uh, either markets, sheds, or sheds and, and markets. And in my in my case here, the way I'm playing it, I have a shed here right next to this workshop that's got all the supplies that it needs for the things that I'm going to want it to make. No, I personally, I I ship everything around manually. I just go down my list at the end of each day and do everything. Uh, but you can use automation on pretty much all of your businesses. And if you set it up right, you can almost make it an AFK economy game if you do it right. So I know that I've got stuff in my shed here. So we're going to go to source ingredients from my sheds. Uh, in this particular case, we're not going to, we're not going to, I'm not going to add, well, you can't actually add, um, a silver amount or, or a currency amount to spend at the market to source your materials. But if I were to select market, I could, I could set a specific amount that, or a limit, an upper limit to how much I want to spend on each transaction when buying things from the market. But we're going to, we'll set it to sheds because I got a shed full of stuff. And then we go down. We got sent produced items to market. There's a whole bunch of different options here. Now, if, if you don't have a real big game going and you're not real worried about, you know, exports, caravans, and that sort of thing, you can just send them straight to the market. Uh, or you can send to other businesses. Now, this option is useful if. Say uh, I'm clicking on, I'm I'm looking at automating my gold mine. Okay, so we turn on automation, source ingredients from. Well, we don't have to source ingredients because it makes its own ingredients. And the produced items that I want, I want to send to my other businesses. Now there's there's no way to select exactly which business you want to send it to. It's kind of vague in that area. However, uh, it will send the materials to the appropriate businesses that can use the materials so for instance I've got three workshops that are currently work all working on gold charms so all three of my gold mines will try to send the gold that they mine over to these workshops if I were to select these other businesses and the same would be true like with supply lines like if you run an ale house and you need eggs or you need milk and you've got a, a corral that's making milk you can set it to other business to send to, automatically send to other businesses and it will send that milk to whatever business can utilize it so you know your ale house or you can set it to send to sheds now this one is also vague which is kind of unfortunate because if you've got more than one shed like in some of my end games I'll have three or four different sheds with different things in them. For instance, in this one, I've got two sheds. One's for food and one's just for supplies. Now, I suppose if you had everything automated, it wouldn't really matter where the materials go because you're not, you're not really looking at those anyways and it's sourcing automatically. Uh, but if you're, if you're worried about that sort of thing, then you'd be limited to the amount of sheds that you'd be using. Or you could also use, you can have it send stuff to trade posts. Which again is kind of vague. You don't know which trade post is going to end up in. But again, if you're not too worried about that sort of thing and you've just got them all set to sell whatever's there, then it doesn't really matter all that much. And then, 
Let's see, we'll set this. Source ingredients, doesn't matter because it's a mine. Uh, send to sheds. So then it'll try to send to both my both of my sheds, which I don't want to do. That's why I personally don't use automation. But if you're not if you're not so particular about things like I am, then this is really good. And then we've got when transporting produce goods, load carts never when full or periodically. There there is some confusion on how this works because if you select when full, uh, then it'll just mine forever until the entire inventory is full, and then it'll load a cart and send it out, which may not be good if you've got businesses that are waiting for these materials. Now, if you set it to periodically, uh, I, from what I understand, I believe it sends out as soon as there's at least 20 or so available of each item. I think that's what Adderkop was saying. I can't verify that, though, because I, really, I don't really use this that much. But if you set it to periodically then it'll load up at some point and try to send those items to wherever you've set these other settings for, for them to be sent to. And then you've got, if my business doesn't need goods, send access to markets. Uh, I guess that's the only place it'll let me send to. But then the last option for automation is these plus signs. You just... It, the only thing that's going to show up when you click these are things that this business or this facility or mine or whatever you're clicking on can produce. So you can select more than one, and especially and it's a, one thing to note too is with fields, fields specifically, uh, what is grown there is seasonal and it can only have one at a time. So if you were to try and automate a field. Uh, growing fruits or even vegetables, then it's they're only going to grow for two of the four seasons that exist, and then it'll just sit there doing nothing for the rest of the two seasons for either fruits or vegetables. But like, also like with corrals, like if you have, say, you've got it set to getting carcasses or small carcasses. You cannot, you can't, you can't select more than one type of meat. Even though there's a, there's like two or three different things you can select. You know, meat, milk, that uh, small, large carcasses. You can't, you can only choose one of each. You can't do multiples. Unlike with mines, where you can select uh, multiple different ones. Like I could put, I could put iron, and then I could put silver, and then it'll just have each, you know, different people working on different things. So I hope that answers some questions. Uh, if there's anything else, just leave a comment.